take it full screen. You ready? So wait, 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 why I hate religion but love Jesus, which is a spoken word video. Yep. Um, if you guys don't know me, I was in the previous video. My name is Lena. You can find all my socials right here. Down there. <laughs> Down there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this is just going to be another reaction video. So. Yep. So, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Look, what if I told you there was something you were missing? What if I told you that Jesus doesn't really fit into your description. What if I told you that follower of Christ doesn't automatically mean Christian and just because you believe in faith doesn't mean Jesus didn't believe in submission and conviction. Listen, you say Jesus was God and that God had descended. We say Jesus was man for Jesus was dependent. Our God is all great and cannot be comprehended. You say that God was murdered or do you believe that he pretended? That's, that's like it rocks, See, God I'm gave us brains like... <laughs> and God gave us logic. But I guess God wanted us to use them in everything else except for this topic. It's like wearing a cross and proclaiming that you love Jesus. When if God was murdered on the cross, the cross really shouldn't please us. I mean, would you be wearing an axe if it was used to chop your mother up into pieces? See, this is what happens when you believe in faith but fail to believe in reason. See, we used to worship the creator until Satan turned us to the creation. We began to worship the people and neglect the one who made them. We began to believe that God had died, but how could a God even be created? A miraculous birth and therefore the son of God was begotten. See, the creation of Jesus was easy, but you seem to have forgotten. That God says be, and it is, just like with Adam. A concept too complex for the church to merely fathom. But he was the creator of the universe for all we know even more. And so what if we can't see him? I mean what you acting like our universe is small? I mean there's still so much we're still yet to explore. I mean there's still so many things as human beings we still haven't seen, touched, heard or saw. I mean our eyes can't even handle the sight of the sun. So how can we possibly handle the sight of our Lord? See, Jesus used to pray, but in your opinion, who'd he pray to? I mean, if Jesus was God, surely prayer would be of no use. Or did he only require it when he needed to know the truth? Like when God wasn't sure whether it was the season of the fruit. Or maybe he prayed when there was something he couldn't do. Like when he said, I of myself can do nothing. But you took it as there's nothing he couldn't do. See, no one used to worship Jesus, so ask yourself, why do you? A concept so straightforward, but has left so many confused. See, Jesus preached one God, but the church has failed to practice. And I mean, you don't have to be that dumb to know that one plus one plus one equaling one isn't necessarily gonna give you a pass in mathematics. See, the church said three, and Jesus said one. Jesus said God, and the church said son. Jesus never said worship me. Rather, he said, pray, but you've chosen to worship Jesus despite everything he used to say. You began to think with your emotion and forgot to think with your mind. I guess you didn't pay attention when Jesus says, our father, yet never says mine. You claim to be a follower of Christ, yet you still choose to eat swine, and you call yourselves Christians, but in your churches, you're busy drinking wine. And just to clarify, I do love Jesus. Matter of fact, I love him more than you. Because when Jesus said do something, I actually do. However, I'm not connected with the church nor with the Bible. See, I love Jesus as my prophet but refuse to worship him as an idol. Just like he wanted and proclaimed it as sin. Oh, man, I'm trying to like, just wait and finish the video before I comment. But I, I, <laughs> I can't finish it. Jesus... But, you know, let's just get... Let's just get this straight before we finish the video. Just a few uh, seconds left. But, you know, but look at this in Matthew 6, 9 or something that uh, he Matthew just quoted. Matthew 6, 6, yeah, that's what I was going to look up. Yeah, and then another one was Matthew 6, 9 where he said, Jesus said, Our Father. 
how do you translate that because i've seen one muslim using it as an argument a really big argument uh because jesus said our father is it the, the lord prayer like we say it in schools in ghana like and we say oh uh, bro i can't even say it again but you know if jesus said our father what's that supposed to mean like he, Jesus, we're, we're and we, the this, human beings. We're all the son of God. Yeah, our father. Children. I don't know. Maybe it's a different translation that... It's... I don't know. I It's a... I think we're all children of God, right? So like he said, it's never my father. It's never just mine. It's not that he's specifically the child of God. It's that mm-hmm. we, as a human race, are the children of God because we are his creation. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's a good point. And the fact that he preached for people to pray. He never preached for people to pray to him or to worship him. He preached for people to pray to God. Mm -hmm. Um, Even he himself prayed. So like the video said, if he had to pray, who is he praying to and why is he praying? Couldn't he just pray to himself? Why? You know what I mean? Why, yeah. why would he need to do that anyway? At, at least, at least. I know you're a Christian. You don't believe much about that. You interpret that text in a different way and you have a different understanding of it. But like, that's just the Muslim understanding. So what would you say about this in this case? You know, you haven't Jesus pray in the, uh, uh, in the Bible and you haven't Jesus uh, also say, Our Father. Our Father thing is, I'm more interested in that one. Because Jesus praying, I think I've, I've not got enough comments on that and I don't know why... Uh, some people skipped. They don't want to comment about that or for some reason. But our father, like, our father. Our father. Our. I'm repeating our. it. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's finish this video. So it doesn't really matter if they don't let him in because Jesus wouldn't even want to be in the presence of people worshiping an idol of him. An act of God, bolt of lightning went straight through the outstretched hand of Jesus. This cannot be a coincidence. Before I move on, there's something I need to mention. The worship in the Jesus, Jesus is a man-made invention. He never asks for your worship so he can grant you protection. Rather, he asks you to alternate your prayers towards another direction. To God and God only and pray that he accepts them. And know that just because you love Jesus doesn't mean he feels the same way about your affection. See, what you believe in is exactly what he resented. Matter of fact, it's everything he despised. See, the worship of creation goes against the very message he supplied. So you began to follow a religion and called it love in disguise because love can be good, but love can be blind. Giant Jesus is no more. Jesus is preaching for you guys to worship God, go straight to him, but instead the humans took it as we worship God through him. Yeah. Which well, is, it's not it, to these days, or maybe at least to the understanding I have, it's not even like through him. You know, he's he's a god. Yeah. It's not like through. It's which is unfortunate because that's not what Jesus preached. Jesus also preached not to use idols. But oh, yeah. yeah, every single church has depictions of him on the cross or pictures, yeah. and you know, it's. And I know there's some people that say, well. Oh, this might be in the Old Testament. We don't believe that, but... Yeah, some of them say the Old Testament is just like a storybook, and some of them have been overwritten. Uh, if and, I'm wrong, and tell and, me, but and, that's what I heard from some and, of you Christians. And so... Some well, other Christians. Something that bothers me about that is the, the Word of God is something that should be always true, you know? God is not going to bring down any words that is that is not right, you know? Mm-hmm. Because God knows what's going to happen in the future. Mm-hmm. Correct? So why would He bring something for one people... And not for the next people. Like, why would he bring something that's intentionally confusing? Right. So I think that as Muslims, you know, we believe in the Torah. We believe in the Old Testament. We believe in the New Testament in their unchanged versions. So mm-hmm. the reasons why we don't follow everything in that is because, or the reasons why we don't trust it is because we know there's facts, there's proof that some of the verses, passages have been changed or added or taken out. Yeah. So... About that point, it's not the word of God anymore. The Quran yeah. has been unchanged for a thousand four hundred years. Yeah, and now it depends on like your like your debates and then uh, your faith, you know. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, you know, people will say things like that, like, "Oh no, 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 this is not that. This is not." And you know, one common thing that I even saw like in my last video was that Muhammad copied the Quran from the Bible, like, but they don't say anything about like how uh, through which medium, like 
maybe some evidence of how he did it, you know. And then that's crazy because our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, couldn't even know, he did not know how to read. So how was he going to copy the Bible if he couldn't read it? He couldn't also write, you know. So. But let me know what you think. What do you think about this, you know? Think about it. And put Think your put your comments we'll put your comments below. Maybe we can do some reactions to the comments. You know, answering your questions. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll try to get into the comments and mostly reply to all of them if I can, hopefully. And if you have a video you want me to write to, just you know, put it in the comments below, and we'll get to it. All right. Okay. Until next time. Bye.